think chili is always a good idea, especially when it is cold outside. And when you make a few substitutions, you go from the regular chili we all know and love to chicken chili verde, mm -hmm. which is what we're going to make right now. Yes, because you can only have so many bowls of chili. Yeah, I, I guess mean, so. I don't know. Some people could eat it five days a week. Right. Not me. Uh, so this, this is a little switch up. So instead of doing, you know, ground beef and that kind of thing at the start of your chili, I'm going to do chicken. Nice. And I'm going to make it green instead of red. Yes. yes. So yes. you're going to be using, uh, you're not using the tomatoes. No, I am use, I'm using the tomatoes with a funny tail. T tomat tomatillos. Tomatillos. So tomatillos are these, they're, they're related. I can't actually pick one up. They're related to a tomato, but they're actually more like, they're sort of more closely related to an eggplant than a tomato. Okay. Um, they're soft, they're quite tart, and they're very fragrant. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so they're, they're different. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get them in cans like this. This is enteros, which would be whole. Yeah. And you can also get them kind of tomatillo y, but this is just salsa verde. Got it. So we use these because um, this is packed full of a bunch of sodium. Mm -hmm. But if this is the only thing you can find and high blood pressure isn't your uh, concern, Issue. then use this by all means because you can get this stuff in the grocery store and, and everywhere. Okay. So that's just an onion, a little bit of the old our friend garlic, a little cumin, coriander, cayenne. Mm. Uh, so that's all standard stuff. Yeah. And that's kind of it for the seasoning. Then in goes our tomatillos. Yeah. And if you get those whole ones, you just kind of want to bash them up a little bit. They're Maybe weird little. looking, right? Yeah, take out some aggression on those. You know, take out, and, and, but also, oh, I, but they're gonna, I want to do it like, <laughs> There you go. I know. There you go. Uh, this is why aprons were invented. So that goes in. <laughs> and then we like to use chicken thighs, but if you have chicken breasts, that's also fine. Right. And then just tons and tons. The other thing is, if you happen to have leftover chicken, yes, this just is a make good the thing base to use. of it and chuck it in there. Yeah. And then once make. that all gets cooked together, I know it looks like a holy mess right now, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna do a little bit of white beans. Just a can of nice white beans. Nice. Just again, to mix it up. Why use kidney beans when you could use white beans? Well, you can use white beans. You can mix it up. If and you're then, one of those people that just looks at a recipe and then just makes the sub substitutions, you do that, don't you? Well, I try not to. Okay. I know. Right. Like if I'm actually you're very good recipe, at having variations to recipes. If I'm inventing a recipe, that's different. You're story. doing your own yeah. thing. Chuck the spinach in when it's all nice and cooked, and then so good you, for you come up with this glorious bowl of yum. Yes. Chickeny, salsa, la 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 la. And yeah. then of course the world is your oyster. I love I like the a little things. Monterey Jack, a little avocado, cilantro, pepper. And you know, this is my new favorite chili topping because just crunch them up. Perfect. Okay, that doesn't look nearly as nice as that one. I know, but whatever. No, but the You're gonna have top. some crunch in there, and that's it's what so makes good. all the difference. Exactly.